So my favourite video to film is finished pages of the month and we're here. We're here. We're at the end of April. Well technically it's the 30th when I'm filming this today. But I wanted to film it. I'll probably get it up maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. We'll see. But this is April's finished pages. And these aren't in any particular order at all. Yeah, I've got a dirty one in here and a finished one. And this is the one that I've finished. I don't usually colour in Joanna Basford's boots. And I really don't uh, share it on the channel, like me doing it from start to finish. But I really, really, really enjoyed this one. I did a watercolour background. I used gouache on the sea. Uh, what colour what color pencils was it? I think it was either the Prismacolor or the... Uh, polychromos pencils. I'm not 100% sure actually. Oh, I can even mention this is the World of Wonders. This is her newest big out. And unfortunately, I've been having an issue with my masking tape recently. So if you know of any good branded masking tapes that aren't going to rip my paper and don't cost an arm and a leg, please do leave it in the comments because I am struggling with the uh, masking tape. The one that I use is the Unibond and it was working fine as you can see I've nearly used the whole roll up it was working fine but for some reason I've just been having issues with it recently I don't know what's going on uh, I've started this one I've just basted it with Tombow markers and then I've started shading it with Prismacolor and I've wrote down the pencil colour so I can come back to it in hindsight I probably should have done the background first with this one because if I go in with any sort of water on this page that is going to run everywhere so I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do with that background. So that was the Joanna Basford one that I've completed. Uh, like I said, these are not in any order. It's just because I put them in my little basket when I finish them, and then sometimes I get the book out that I've already used, and then do another page, and they all get mixed up. Even though I have all the intentions in the world to keep them ordered, and when I did all my finished pages I, in Kirby's books, I forgot this one. I I forgot to show you this one, the red panda one. I was really annoyed with myself after when I was editing that video, but yeah. You would have seen this one because I did show that in that video. And it is the wolf one, I think it's a wolf anyway. And I've used majority Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolours and then the Derwent drawing pencils just for a little bit of detail on top. I didn't go crazy with the detail, I just wanted something fun to do and I'll say it again I've said it numerous times the paper in Kirby's books are amazing for watercolour now some pages I have gessoed just because I knew I was going to be putting a lot of water on there but this one I'm pretty sure I didn't and there's a lot of pages in here that I've not gessoed um, and they've, they've worked out just fine like I know I didn't gesso that one the red panda I'm pretty sure I didn't anyway and that one worked out just fine this one, again, I missed it out last month of the finished pages, but you would have seen it in all of my Kirby's finished pages. And again, this one was all watercolour. Um, the background, I did gesso this, I can, you can feel the difference. So if I, you can hear and feel the difference, it's quite uh, textured the paper now. But I knew that I was going to be using a lot of water on this page. And to be fair, it's not buckled, there's no like little rivers or anything in it. Even if I shut this book, it goes more or less flat. Yeah, the paper in this in this book is brilliant and I really enjoyed doing that one. So that was last month. And I've got one whip in here, which is the sea lions. I can move that tag now. And I've only got a little bit of detail left to do on this and then it'll be done. Probably an hour or two of work. And then I'll be happy with that one. But again, Windsor and Newton watercolours and white gouache, I believe. Oh, it was acrylic. Watered down white acrylic. So, yeah, I'm still loving Kirby's books. That was Fragile Worlds, by the way, if I didn't mention it. I've got all of my single PDFs. Now, there's one on here. I can't remember the name of the artist, but I will put it in writing on the screen. But first of all, we've got Mario Le Boudic. I'm going to remember her name because I've done a lot of her pages and I printed this out on the Strathmore Tone Tan paper 
and it is fantastic for doing skin tones it just takes all the work out I know it looks like I've not done much on the skin but there is a difference I have laid and laid and laid and I'm pretty sure I used luminance for this one and then the shiny watercolors that you can see in the background the purple is the KJ Designs by Karen beautiful color and then the silver the silvery gold that you can see is the Renaissance chrome I believe and yeah I was really pleased how her to her, her how her hair turned out I think this was a tutorial right at the start of the month actually I'm pretty sure it was I did a tutorial on this hair so yeah if you want to I'll link it somewhere around here if you want to go back and look at that I will link it for you so these all need to go in my little PDF folder and then we've got a Jasmine Beckett Griffith which I used the wrong glitter I thought I was using the Woe Embossing Powder Glitter Sparkle Glitter which is absolutely amazing but the pot that I picked up out of my drawer was the Embossing Powder Glitter so it didn't work as well I could probably go over the top with a heat gun and fix it but I don't feel the need because once I've finished this video they'll be going into my folder anyway but I am covered absolutely covered in glitter but again this was all the Winsor & Newton Cotman's and then this skin tone let me just find the palette because I can't remember the name is Nectar Watercolours and I'm really enjoying using these they do look really really dry but once you've wet them and you're using them they are really good watercolours oh I'm dead excited as well I only used it last night for the first time Ah. I've not done a video on these yet and I didn't I didn't film any, any of me using them for the first time because I need to practice with them but I love them, love 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 them very expensive off the size of the bottles so yeah that was the Jasmine Beckett Griffith page that I did we've got a Mystic Art Mirrors now this was in a collection of three or four PDFs she had them on sale, I had them in my wish list actually for about a week or two and then I check on Etsy every other day a couple of times a week and they were on a 50% discount at the time of me purchasing so I thought oh I'm having them nice so I printed them all out and I love the detail I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up I might be better off instead of lifting it yeah that's better the dot work I've gone in with gel pens which was the air teaser gel pens and the brilliant we've got a distress ink background I didn't really know what to do I think this is tan toned again yeah I didn't really know what to do with the background and when I'm not sure I always go to distress ink because it's just the easiest thing for me and then the watercolour the shine that you can see is the Paul Rubens the glitter paints the glitter watercolour paints and yeah I think she's really beautiful and I like the colours that I chose for this one as well so this is the artist that I was talking about that I cannot remember the name I only did this last week as well I feel terrible but a lady on Instagram messaged me saying would I like to colour one of her pieces of artwork and I agreed and she sent me two different PDFs and this is the one that I chose to print out and it's just on the it was the Amazon Amazon paper I can't remember the name of it but it's it's more it's thickish paper but I've used watercolour again and I've used, I think I used ink tents on this and then Prismacolour over the top it's not usually, usually my normal style, my normal thing when I would go for but I really enjoyed doing this and the dot work as well took me ages in her dress I tried to make it look like a wedding dress a little bit but yeah I'll have the, the, the name here somewhere just in case you're interested that's like um she does a a book it's a pdf book and i think she does a printed out book as well so my original art that i did this uh month is a little parrot and i'm really really pleased with how he turned out uh, i don't think this was the archer's watercolor paper i just believe that this is a cheaper watercolor paper i think it's called kazis last time I checked on Amazon it wasn't available unfortunately but it was just a cheap watercolour paper and I just wanted to have a mess around and I thoroughly enjoyed myself and before I forget 
before I forget this is the other one the other original art that I've done this month and I did this one first of all I was inspired to do this because Pokemon Snap comes out today I believe Pokemon Snap 2 and that game came out the very first one 22 years ago and I remember going to Blockbuster and renting that because that was a thing back then you could rent and borrow games off uh, shops and pay a fee because my mum and dad wouldn't buy me the game <laughs> full fact but I absolutely love that game and the new one comes out today so I've been watching all sorts of videos on YouTube all about it and that's what inspired me to do this Mew with the galaxy background because at the end of that game you have to take pictures of him and he, he's in a galaxy and it's all pinks and purples and blues so that's what inspired me to do this and I love how, how it turned out it's going on my, my son's bedroom wall this now that I've filmed it it can go up on the wall but yeah there's my parrot again what else have we got? What else have we got? Oh, we've got the shells, the watercolour shells, which I did film from start to finish just to show you how I did this interesting background and the paper took it again really, really, really well. So I will link this somewhere around here just in case you are interested again, start to finish. And I used the watercolour ink for the white details, but I should have done it on the opposite side. Yeah. And that one there on that side is a very, very old one. I remember sitting in my daughter's nursery colouring that actually. So that was Hannah Carlson's, which one's that one? Uh, Magical Dawn. And then what have we got next? We've got Hannah Carlson's newest one, and I'm quite surprised how many I've actually done in it, this one. Oh, well, yeah. I was showing the process of this. Oh, it's transferred a little bit. I was showing the process of this practically step by step over on Instagram stories. So if you don't follow me on the, I'm the same name on Instagram as I, I am here, Colour Me Stress Free. And I was take, I took a picture with the background I believe and then as I started working on the skin and the hair and the final details just to show you step by step how I did it. But I used the Renaissance Chrome watercolours again. but in these bits here I used them more or less dry so I used let me just find it it was the sickle fan brush and I slightly dampened the paint and it was more or less dry and then I did the flicking motion like that to give that sort of effect but the really really shiny bits that you can see I've got the pen just here the really shiny bits oh I'm gonna sneeze I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> is the liquid chrome mirror effect now I've tested this out a couple of different ways and the best way that I've found is if you've already got something down on your paper like your watercolour or your pencil or whatever it looks better than just putting it directly onto white paper in my experience anyway but I love how he turned out I love how he turned out I did have an image in my head and the only thing I wish I'd gone over the antlers with the white, but I'm not going back and messing with it now. I'm still pleased with how it turned out. Yeah, it came out just as I imagined. So we have another one in this book. Oh, we have the snake. And I did share this one on Instagram. My double page spread. This one took probably three nights to complete. This one was a lot of detail. I think it was the snake actually that took me the longest in all of this. But I think I used the um, the Faber Castell Albert Dura watercolour pencils, and then Prismacolor over the top, as well as some white gouache and some white gel pen for all of the details, and then my Americana black acrylic paint, the one that I always always use, and then for these little dots it is the Sakura Jelly Roll glaze pen in black, and I love the details that it gives. I might have done that a bit too quick and made you sick. I'm sorry. I love the details that it gives. It's slightly shiny, it gives a raised texture to the page. And there's some other shiny stuff on the crown, and I've got to be honest, I can't remember what that was. I think it was a deco art acrylic paint again. If I'm remembering rightly. But yeah, I really enjoyed that page. I tried to go for a limited colour palette, so just greens, browns, and the reds. We've got this one, which. I'm not overly happy with. I love the background. I really, really do like the background. And I am going to do a tutorial, and there's a couple of different people that have asked me how I did that background. And again, it's just watercolour. 
it's watercolour and patience you have to have patience for watercolour or a good heat gun and a good iron because I ended up ironing this page um, but yeah I didn't like how the dress turned out I'd do this again if I could I'd keep the background but I'd do the rest of rest of it different colours I'm really not happy with that this is a disappointment and I ripped all the paper like I was talking about with that masking tape I was taking it off really carefully I even heated the masking tape up very slightly with a heat gun to melt some of the glue and it just it was lucky really because I didn't plan on doing this page but it's not the end of the world it's just one of them things this was the first page that I did in this book and I like the colour scheme I don't like the background I think I went in with uh, just distressing but over a stencil I wish I'd done my usual splatter put water everywhere and hope for the best effect but I didn't unfortunately but I do like the fish and I used the stress ink again I'm just checking if it bled through and it didn't so on to the next one so we've got Hannah Curls on again but this one again I've just got a couple of details just a couple of details so technically it's not finished and this is a body colour I will link the lady's name on Instagram around here where are we camera around here somewhere I've just got these couple of diamonds to finish and then I've finished this body colour and I really really enjoyed this one I tried something completely different with her skin I've popped some Jane Devonport mermaid markers and I believe they bled through they did it bled through terribly but I wasn't too fussed because I've got other copies of this book and I've even done these pages in the other books but yeah I just need to finish these five little diamonds I don't know why I didn't do them when I was doing this bit I don't know but yeah I think she's dead cool I, I love the um, the earrings so yeah that's that one so I'll keep the tag in that I think I'm coming down with a bit of a I don't want to say summer, I'm still in spring cold or it's a bit of a hair fever. Ah, this one is a little cute one. My husband got this for me. I found it on Etsy and he bought it for me because we are both Pokemon fans. And there's a couple of small ones in here that I did and they were just, it took me like an hour to do and it was really, really fun. So I did Alakazam, all in Prismacolor and a bit of Arteza gel pen. The paper in this isn't the best, I'll be honest, it is really, really, really thin. I wouldn't even get away with using Tombow markers to base in this, and it's double-sided so I couldn't use alcohol markers. But I think it was about £9 this book, and it was just... If you're a Pokemon fan, you're going to like it. It was the Pokedex for the original 100... Is it 151? It's new in here. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm using here, so it's 151. And I did Lapras. I really love how Lapras turned out. He's so cute. So it's just a Pokedex of all the different Pokemon. And I do plan to finish this because, you know, that'd take me half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Got Sancho, Pikachu. And this was purchased off Etsy. I will link uh, it down below. I don't remember the name of the artist. But I think it might have been an Inktober. They've uh, just decided decided to also get some uh, I think that's what it is I'm not going to read all that on film but uh, yeah I love it absolutely love it if you're a Pokemon fan I really recommend that book I think I was just looking for Pokemon PDFs to download and call that and then that came up so we've got Fantasia by Nicholas F everyone calls him Nicholas F because I don't want to butcher his last name uh, we did the T-Rex in this one, well, sort of T-Rex, it looks like a, a T-Rex that's been on steroids a little bit with all that armour plating plate I think. <laughs> I was um, saving this page for the longest time, I've had this boot for months and months and this is the first page that I had my eye on colouring and I was really nervous, I didn't want to mess it up and I've not used alcohol markers in the longest time but I based the majority of it in alcohol markers. And in the background is uh, Albert Dura watercolour pencils, just blended out into a sunset. And then the shading is all Prismacolor. And then the Sakura glaze pen again, just for the really opaque black. I love him. I love him. If I had an art room, a big, big art room, I'd take this out and frame it. Because you know, I am dinosaur mad. <laughs> I do. I love this page. 
I love this page. I wish I took a photocopy of it so I could print it out and colour it again. I love it that much. But yeah, this is the spiral bound version. I do believe that you can get different copies so I'm glad that I um, managed to nab the spiral bound. And I think I bought this off Amazon US. I paid about £10 shipping on top of the, the price of the book on that one. So these are the other PDFs that I purchased off Mystic Art Mirrors. Now, I don't uh, always share all the different PDFs that I purchase because sometimes in a month I can purchase quite a few and other times it's one or two and other, other times it's not at all. So I don't feel the need to just make a video just for six or eight, I can't remember how many pages it was, colouring pages. But this was on the 50% off deals again, that's why I went ahead and purchased it. And this isn't the tan tone, this is the grey, grey toned Strathmore paper. So it's exactly the same as the tan toned, it's just grey in colour. And I think she turned out beautiful. I was going for a glowing effect, so the glow effect was coming from this direction. And I've never done this before. And I think I pulled it off, I even put it on the rabbits. I should have put it on the mushrooms in hindsight and all the leaves and the bird. But for the first time of me doing it, I was trying to understand where the the light would be hitting on the character. And I've even put a little bit on the tail. I'm really, really happy with this one. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And again, that's Mystic Art Mirrors. And we've got KJ Designs by Karen and the Rene Renaissance Watercolours with that one. I think she's so pretty and I love the, the skin tone. If you haven't used the Strathmore paper, I really do recommend it. It is a little bit more pricey, but it's definitely worth it. This was, I did a video dedicated just to the wolf, and I think I finished it all off on camera, I do believe. Now, I do like the wolf. I don't like anything else of this on this page. The paper that I used was the, again, the Strathmore coloured pencil paper. So it is different to the other stuff that I've just showed you. And it is very, very, very toothy. So I didn't want to sit here blending all of that hair out. I've got to be honest. Once I'd put the colour down, I was like, right, that's it. I've had enough now. I've finished this page. I'd sort of lost interest at that point. I know that sounds terrible. But I did. And if I went in with... I've got a couple of different blenders here. I could have gone in with the Karen Dash one. I could have gone in with the Derwent one. If I wanted to blend all that out... I could have done, but same with the skin. I was just over it at that point. But this is Mario Libridex page. I do like the fox slash wolf, how he turned out. And I did use a reference picture um, for that one. We've only got a few more now. I think I've managed to do accomplish quite a lot this month, all things considered. Um, just a little update. I talked about this very quickly in my last video. My husband was in a car accident at the start of the week. He's okay, but we've um, had to get a cursor to car. That was a thing in itself, trying to get one to fit a wheelchair in. And then our own suite decided to leak. So at this very moment, I'm sitting here looking at my front room and I've got a big, massive square hole to coat in my ceiling and all the tiles and everything needs replacing. And it's just a big thing. And it wasn't good for a Monday morning, let's put it that way. Um, I went off on a bit of a tandem then. I'm trying my best to at least once a month finish one of these pictures from Clara Merkova, uh, her colouring boots. Don't hate me for saying this, but I do love these boots, but they intimidate the life out of me because they're so detailed. I know what you're probably thinking, oh well, Kirby's boots, they're really, really detailed, but I think of these different because they were so expensive boots, I don't want to be putting loads of water down and destroying them. Whereas the Kirby boots, they cost five, six, seven pounds, I can replace them. And I've got two copies of most of his boots because I do really love them that much. But yeah, working in these boots just makes me so nervous. I might even finish the hat on this one, which I'm going to put that tag back in because that's going to irritate the life out of me. And I haven't done many, there's one that I've finished. I think as well because I see online, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook groups, such beautiful finished pages of these, even though they are so detailed, I think, I can't do that, what's the point of me even trying? I've got to be honest, I've got to be honest, even though they are beautiful boots, and they're just so priceless. I think it's the, the, um, the postage that we get hit on. Um, 
I don't know if there's any point showing you this, but it's just a couple of messing around watercolour effects that I've just been practising on. I've not finished these because I don't feel the need that I want to go over the top. So you finish them, I'm just keeping them as they are. But they're just a couple of different galaxy ones that I was messing around with. And then I will pop over a little insert here somewhere of um, my diamond painting that I finished and a work in progress with the Daniel Smith watercolour paints. So this is the other thing that I've been working on this month and I've finally finished it. This is a 50 by 50 diamond painting by Spell Queen and this was a custom one that they sent to me and I've finally finished it. So I've just got a frame coming today actually and it's going to go up on the wall behind me. But I just need to cut off the excess around it. To set it, I've just used ordinary PVA glue from the supermarket. And I've used that with every single diamond painting. And I've never had an issue with it. I mean, I probably can't show you the sparkle, but it is really sparkly. And the whip that I've got going on at the minute is this one. So I've just got it drying at the minute. This is probably my third or fourth layer. And this is actually a picture from Hannah Carlson's, I think it's Daydreams. I believe it's Daydreams colouring book. And I traced it all and transferred it onto watercolour, Archer's watercolour paper. And I've tested out my brand new Daniel Smith watercolours. And I've only bought the five, I think it's five or is it six colours? It's a small set anyway. And I've managed to mix all of these different shades just with them colours. Oh, and I think one Paul Reuben black because I didn't have a black in that set. But everything else is the Daniel Smith. And I am going to take my time with this. It's going to take quite a few more layers. I'm going to use polychromos for the pencil work. But yeah, I'm pleased with that so far. But that is my big one that I'm happy that I've finished this month. My Colour Me Stress Me Free sign. I can't even say my own name right. And the very last whip I've got of this month, I've made, I mean I've got plenty of whips, plenty of whips, but the one that I've started off this month, I just started off this background. And I did go ahead and uh, use a masking fluid pen and this paper did not like it one bit. It was peeling, peeling, bits coming off. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to save this unfortunately, there's not a lot even there's even bits of, of the paper coming off and I didn't overly saturate this um, paper and it's, it is watercolour paper as, as far as I'm aware anyway it is watercolour paper uh, and I've used watercolour in the past so I don't fully understand what's gone on there but it must have been that masking fluid there's not quite a few in this book actually I didn't realise that but yeah that is my way I am going to finish it off I'll try my best to finish it off Probably with just colour pencil, but we'll see. I've destroyed the majority of the, the image, unfortunately. But anyway, that is all of the pictures that I've done this month and that diamond painting. That diamond painting, uh, when I did it in the live stream, I said, oh, it'll only take me two weeks. <laughs> That's because I was only working on the white, <laughs> because um, all the other bits in between were a lot more fiddler. And when I decided to go and get long nails, uh, I didn't think about the diamond painting part of it, so it's took me even longer. But anyway, I've done it and I've pulled out my next diamond painting. It's from uh, Diamond Dark Club and it's another handling one. I wanted to do a circle, uh, a circle drill one. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please do give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, let's just pick out my very favourite one. I've, I've got to be corny here. I've got to be corny and pick my own piece of art. I have to. So either my parrot, I'm really proud of his face, or my mu, all done with acrylic. I don't even think I mentioned that. It was all done in acrylic and there is a video already up for that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice weekend guys. Bye!